feature contest. Tag team action is set for one fall. Introducing team number one, accompanied to the ring by Sister Sherry from 110th Street in Harlem, New York. Booker T, Stevie Ray Harlem. He. My ambition in life. Oh my gosh, what is that? To drop pins are off at 110th Street and leave them. Yeah, we'll stand in line. Okay, I'll take you next. Anybody else like to talk real fast? Go ahead. There you go. Hey, would you like talking to the camera, Brain? Give me a break. Let's go back to uh, David Pinzer. Huh? I'll back to David Pinzer, please. Two opponents accompanied to the ring by the mouth of the South, Jimmy Hart. Huh? From the Dungeon of Doom, Ming and the Barbarian, the Faces. You said who? What me? <laughs> A lot of noise here. Face of fear. Jimmy Hart leads them in here on WCW Worldwide. You're not gonna see these two guys walking any manicure place to get their nails done. Nope. Unless they have them filed down to a sharp point. And they do that with their teeth. They just gnaw. And then they rake it across your back. Look how much time they're taking to get in the ring. This is a good move. Make sure you keep the eyes on your opponents. The awesome Ming and Barbarian, the faces of fear. They are terrifying looking, aren't they? Oh, it's going to be a great tag team match. we got four men, four very powerful, very successful, very strong, determined men going at it here for the chance to move up the ladder in tag team supremacy. And Harlem Heat has the experience, you know, they were WCW tag team champions. And the face of fear, ranked number one in the world right now, number one contender. <laughs> little John going on here, what's this little intimidation process here, Brain? Yeah, usually when a tag match starts during instructions, Somebody starts it, somebody says something, the other guy says something, the other guy says something. Finally, all four are usually doing it. It always happens. I like to see that happen. It shows a good competitive streak in someone. If you just stand there like milk toast, like... I don't know who. So you like being mouthy, right? You like a little... A little uh, well, I'm, no, I'm not the guy that trash talks, and I'm not the guy who's mouthy, because I've always found out from my experience in my business that a guy that's mouthy is usually a guy that doesn't know anything. Usually a guy just shoots his mouth and just keeps rattling and rolling and talking about things that don't make sense. He'll swear at you, swear at your neighbor, swear at the guy Frank, 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 Frank. Yeah, that's enough. Time for the match. Get you know what I mean. Yeah, I do. Side headlock applied. Big mouth. Well, Jimmy is a vocal, but he's all right. Talking about you. I haven't said a word. Hello. He hit him with everything he had that time. Didn't budge him. Look at the face of Booker T. He's got a bandage in his beak. It's one of those uh, breathe right nasal strips. Oh. Look at this. That raw power. Oh, back elbow and the Barbarian and just manhandling Booker T here. You don't see Booker T manhandle that much. Nope. Oh! And there's Sherry on the outside. I guess her and the uh, Colonel are kaputs, huh? Well, you never know, though. Well, you never, you never know about Colonel Parker nor about a woman. Oh! Harlem sidekick. Oh! Another version of it. Tag here comes. Good move there. Fresh man in. Yes, it is. I mean, Stevie Ray's in control, but it didn't hurt to get a breather yourself. Tag in the fresh man. Sherry's got a great team here. Face well, to the fear, very tough, too. Yeah, this is what's going to make this match great. Elbow drop, no. Ming showing quickness, or Barbarian making showing quickness. And here's Ming. Look at the vertical base he gets for leverage on those backhand chops. Man, he used to be sumo, you know. Yes, I do. Those sumos have the ability to shut out pain. You know that, don't you? And he's six bowls of rice in 20 seconds. 
Yeah, there is no pain to them. They, they, they feel nothing. And they wrestle barefoot with an inner tube. What <laughs> are you talking about? Oh, the outfit they wear. Oh, okay. <laughs> Ming, and I tell you, Stevie Ooh. Ray, big, strapping man, and Ming hit him with his best shots. He only went down to one knee. It's incredible. It and after the Ming took that beating, you know how easy he picked up Booker T, Stevie Ray. He's in command. It's incredible the caliber of wrestlers that we have in WCW. Booker T made a save that time. And Randy Anderson hits corner and enables Stevie Ray to get an advantage. Barbarian goes down to one knee. And now, the former tag team champs on the offense here. Very hard for one referee to call his action. And to be in control. They should have two referees. No. Yes. Can't sneak stuff. Yeah. Can't cheat, right? No. And they're going to cheat, so you might as well. You see our great crowd on hand here at the Worldwide Arena, the home of Worldwide Wrestling at the Disney MGM Studio. Do you realize how many times the lights would go on and off if this place was wired to the clapper? <laughs> I mean, hundreds of times. Um. Big leg drop. Two cap. You know what, Brain? I know. Je Jeff, don't say it. Same as in '96. In '97, you're no good. You say bad things about people. You make horrible jokes. I don't say anything bad about people. Name me one. Okay, give me an example. Hulk Hogan. Well, he's a slob. Eric Bischoff. Sting. Okay, okay, I'll say something about Eric. I never say anything bad about Eric Bischoff. His brother's worse though. Eric's brother? Yes. You've never met his brother. I know Eric. Good enough for me. I'll have to go to the electric chair to know that it hurts. Sending the man in. Foot. Oh. You can hit him in the head all day. You're not going to beat him. You can hit him in the head all day with fire extinguishers. You're not going to beat him. Tag. Here we go. Barbarian makes the tag. Uh, it doesn't matter. You can't hurt him. It's Stevie Ray and to face the Barbarian here. Oh, boy. Put him down the clothesline that time. Covers him. Too powerful to hold down. No question about that. Oh. Sherry constantly giving instructions. Constantly just John. Yeah, running her mouth is what she does best. And you should know a lot about that. I heard you've been romantically involved with her nope. in 1978. You're, you're lying. That's what I heard. I guess you would call that clubbering, right? I don't know what he would call it. I call it good old-fashioned fight. We got it going here. If you ate six bales of hay, you'd probably say clubbering too. Jimmy Hart! Jerry's got hit! Jimmy, run for your life! The referee is calling the bell. And Sherry is going after Jimmy. I don't know what the official word is here. I think maybe the megaphone got involved and therefore... The official word is Jimmy's still alive. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Randy Anderson losing control of the match. He rules this match a no contest. It's All right. Thrown out. He has thrown the match out. Because he lost control of it. Because he is unable to do his job. He loses control of it and he blames the other team. Well, so what? <laughs> right up, baby. They got the megaphone. You know what she's going to do with that, don't you? What? She's going to be... Get the way. We go she's going to be parting somebody's hair with it. She's up to something. She's a gorgeous woman. 